Hey guys, and today I'm going to be talking to you about modules and functions and methods, hopefully, in Python 3.3. Now, in my last not tutorial but video about my text-based game, you saw I was running on the code in a application called Eclipse on um, a development platform called PyDev. Now, I was going to do a video, actually I was doing a video on how to install PyDev, but then I looked on YouTube and there's like a million videos anyway, so I didn't see the point, plus it went all weird and wouldn't install it properly. So, yeah, I sort of just left that out. But anyway, from now on, I'm going to be using Py, PyDev, maybe. If you guys like PyDev better, I'll use it. If not, I'll just go back to the um, Ideally, but I prefer PyDev over the Python Ideally anyway. So basically when you open it up you'll get a screen like this. Obviously these two things, don't worry about them. They're like my project thingy, my bobs. But if you want to create a new project, make sure you have PyDev selected up here, right click on here, new project, and down the bottom there should be a folder called PyDev, open it up and don't select the other two, select PyDev project next. Give it a name, so I'm gonna call it test. Um choose the Python type, but don't choose any of these because you haven't installed these. Grammar type, whatever grammar type you're using, we are using 3.x version, so we'll use 3.0. Interpreter, now I'm just going to show you how to do this in case you haven't done it. You should have, but anyway. Click on new if you haven't got anything here. Give it a name, so Python 3.3.2. Oh, like this is the version of Python we've installed, so just put that, yeah browse it and all you want to do is just find the location where your python system is installed so I'm just going to find it quickly just so I can show you it's somewhere around here there it is and all you want to do is select the python uh, the exe just name python not python w double click on that uh, see it's, the, it's already in mine so it doesn't do it but yeah prick, prick ok and it will set it, click on that, OK, and yeah, and it will say interpret to default, select Python 3.3.2 if you've done that. You can either have, have a dictionary or source folder, I always have source folders, because they're easy to work with. Finish, and you see it will open up a little tab here with your source folder in it, and the path to Python, wherever Python's installed. Right click on source, go on new pro uh, not project, PyDev module not package because package is like a little thing, don't worry about that. Um but let's give it a name so I'm gonna test uh finished and it's been really slow but well. And you see here it gives you a load of options of what you can do. Now you can either have it empty, don't know about these or these, but I know these this is the class of like object oriented stuff we haven't done yet and this is main so we just open up main for a thing. Uh, just delete that. All right. And you see it says if name equals main and, and it runs it and stuff, but we don't need that. So we've got this open now. Uh, okay. Got this open now. And it's a nice, nice, nice environment to work with. So say you put printlet. See, it gives you options of what you can put in. Press enter. It does it for you. And if you put in one uh, quotation, it gives you both. And if you put in one bracket gives you both. But anyway, today we're going to be talking about modules and importing modules and stuff. Basically what modules are, they're like uh, little files that are somewhere in your system but they're not they are inbuilt into Python but they're not inbuilt inbuilt into Python. It's hard to explain. Basically they're not in Python, you have to import them from wherever they are to be able to use like the functions and stuff inside them. So basically all you want to do is use import and this normally goes at the top of your file you're doing like this. So import, and then there's a, there's quite a few. There's there's a uh, I'll show you some examples of some, but there's quite a few. So there's OS, which is the OS system. There's SYS, time, um, math, and let's say I don't know random. What's happened here? Oh yeah. Also, it gives you an gives you an a gives you like a list of errors and stuff and there's actually I think there's an error window as well error log see and it gives you all the errors here and everything 
but we'll just minimise that for now. Um, so you've imported all these different modules, and yeah, now you can use the functions inside them. So let me show you a couple of things. So you print um, math dot, and there should be one called square root. SQRT. This is the square root of whatever number you put in here. So you put an 81. We know the square root of 81 is 9. What's happened here? Unusable. Oh, it goes away. It's a bit laggy when it comes to this, but it might just be my computer. Basically, it just prints the uh, square root of 81. So, in the other pro Python, ideally, we used to have to press F5 to run our applications. All we want to do in here is press Control and then F11. And the first time it asks you what, what you want to run it as, uh, Python run is what you want to run it as. See, it comes up with the console and 9.0, which is correct. The console up here, this console is a lot better than the shell as well, I believe. I've got the error log on the console, yeah. I, I believe it's a lot better than the shell, because it's a lot easier, a lot better to use. So, you see here, we've imported the math function, and if we didn't have the math function here, actually, we can just test that out now, actually. Um, if we didn't have the math function there, we tried to run it. You see, there's an error because math it recognizes as a variable, and there's not a variable called math, so it doesn't perform anything. But if we have math or math, then it works fine. So yeah, we've we've used a function inside a module here. Um, now say you have something like let me just do a couple of prints. Um, Callum and prints. I don't know. Uh, Travis, and then you can do a command. So OS dot system. And you see, it's so much better because it gives you all the stuff you can use here. Look, OS dot system. And what system does is you have to input a command of some type. Now, the most one of the most simple ones is either oh god, single quotations or double quotations. And all you want to put in here is CLS. I think that can be capitals as well, but it doesn't really matter. Um, you can see you can see here this command here clears the whole screen whatever point it's set and then carries on the application so oh, I was just to print out um my uh, and then we just put an input here to stop it because otherwise it just goes all weird um we put uh, press enter to continue. I don't know if I taught you about this. This is an inbuilt command, so yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, we run this quickly. Right, you see here in the con in this console, it wouldn't do this in the shell, but in this console, it prints a little square wherever it does it like performs an action. Now, what you can do is I just quickly find it somewhere. Okay, guys, it took me quite a long time to find this because I couldn't find it anywhere, so I had to search for it. But um, basically, we just open this up. We double click on this. It opens up in the console. Now you see it just prints uh, Maya here. Now the reason this is, if we go in here quickly, it does print Callan and Travis, but then it clears the screen and prints Maya. Now I'm going to show you this more clearly, actually. And there's a simple way to do this. Like we see, we can port if we port the time command. If we put that here I think. So we put time dot sleep oh not slip sleep parentheses and then in here goes the amount of seconds you want it to wait. So we wait, I don't know, three seconds or something like that. Uh control us to save it. Open this up. And you see Callan Travis, wait three seconds. And it clears the screen and prints Maya. That is these are really useful function. The sleep command and the um time no nope, not time clear screen command really good and press enter and exits now these are there that's from, these are some really useful things you can do uh, you can also do one called sys dot exit and that just exits the application can't really show you that moment but yeah but I'll be t I'll be going over every not every single module but I'll be going over quite a lot of these modules in the later tutorials and I'll be using them and stuff as well so for now, 
I think that's about it. Um, basically, keep like I, I'm, I'm going to start a poll today of what I need to make on the weekend. But keep messaging me and stuff on what I need to make because at the moment I have nothing and I want to do stuff for you guys and I have nothing to do. So I'm just going to keep on doing tutorials. But I also want to do these applications that you want me to make and stuff as well. Uh, so ask me and I'll try and make them. But that's about it on modules and stuff today. So make sure you know, make just keep in mind the import import um method or function. And yeah, that's just a few of the commands you can use from imported modules. Uh, that's about it for today, guys. And I guess I'll see you next.